Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Earlier I explained what we were going to do on a particular project and today I'm actually showing how we're doing it. What we have here is, we have, it's um, commercial and commercial is a bit different from residential. What these folks had is, take a peek right here Jay, they had the door installed and they put it over uh, the membrane the flange and everything they caulked it they went uh, way above code and then what we're doing today is we're putting a piece another piece over the flange and we're tying it together with with here on this side we are also covering the flange and they have a, a z flashing on top of the doors i'm actually going to put another piece of um, vicor over here to completely seal that then we are going to install uh, this expansion joint in the corners and this is how you install expansion joint in the corners you just bend this the tough part is going to be tying it in then when we install the expansion joint we're going to install j trim because j trim is required on this particular project we're going to notch out the bottom of 45 set it on that drip screen just right cut the top out and tie it all in. When I get the rest of this membrane installed, I'll show you how I install these inner corner uh, expansion joints as well as this J trim. Okay guys, we are at a stage now where we're gonna install this J trim. And again, when you're working commercial, it's uh, quite different from residential. We've got this Grace V40 and that's 40 mil. That's pretty thick stuff. It's like an eighth of an inch. So we have a door flange here with uh, the same material underneath then we have one on top this is what it's going to look like when we place our j trim on top now i've notched out my bottom out of 40 to hit this drip screed which is the similar so it'll sit here and it'll go on top of here now a lot of things to encounter when we get to this stage one of them is the z flashing that's a custom z flashing they have up here you can get this out of the way that's a custom Z flash. It's put on and it protrudes out past the door by a quarter inch. Here, we've looked at the rest of the doors and they're not perfect. Everything else is pretty much perfect, but we are gonna have an eighth of an inch here where it hits here and we have a or quarter inch here and then we're gonna have an eighth of an inch here. And of course, because this is steel frame, we're using um, screws to fasten everything. So just to get my template where I want it, I'm gonna go, or my J trim where I want it, I'm gonna get one screw in here. And we're going over two metals. Hmm, this is not easy, fellas, because it has a tendency, even though these are machine screws. To bind, anyhow, there's one. The other one's gonna go here. Then we're going to take a counter. This one counters both, both of those others. It goes on top like so. Then two more layers of 60 minute paper go under here. Uh, like so. It goes under here. That gets tucked in here, gets cut off the excess. But this is how you, you do it when you're dealing with commercial work. And in fact, guys, we pull this out. We still have got to put our inner expansion joint over this. So when you start to get metals over metals, over membranes, it's really tough to keep everything um, right on the money, true and plumb, without, say, an eighth of an inch degree here and there, flexible. So the caulking will caulk this. The wire goes down here. And this acts as an expansion joint also. So when these doors open and close and slam, caulking goes between here. It gives it somewhat of an expansion, although we have outer expansions also. All right, guys, we are at the stage where our J trim's on as best as possible uh, due to all the imperfections in all these different metals. What we have is we graced under here, we papered over it, and this, this J trim here is more of an expansion joint. Uh, the fellow says, gee, you don't need to put that grace or the, the, the product over the flange. And I told him, I said, you guys already been 
through this issue, and this is the second time around. Second time around, we want to overkill. Um, do it way better than what it calls for. So this may be considered overkill, but this is the second time around. It's in litigation, so we do everything a little bit above, way beyond what uh, even specifications call for. This way, everything is sealed under here. This is sealed on top. This door is sealed. Everything is proper. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We thank you for watching, and as usual, see you guys on the next one.